wide load trucks, isn't he? He just cannot get through. Horrible of Valentino as it oh, is as brilliant. anything else because this sort of defence oh, is not easy he's to pull off. Rossi's had compared to Rossi. This is silencing the, some of the doubters from last week. Oh, that's a lovely get out. That one absolutely nailed. He's flying up the hill. Rossi also with a decent start. And Vinales. It's going to be a Yamaha. KTM check three bikes. The Yamaha whole shot. Vinales trying to stretch away from the Oh, oh Binder was involved as well. So it's quite a fourth place with a great start from Miller. Then it's Nakagami, Banyaya, and Morbidelli. Paul Espargaro well wide up two. Not had a Yamaha 1 2 3 in GP since Philip Island in 2014. It's early doors. All right, there are the two Pramac Ducati riders Miller, Banyaya, who's now gone through 1 1. Maverick Vinales is looking good here. He's lining up a move surely into the final turn. Here he comes. He can't drop behind the Ducati of Jack Miller. That would have been a nightmare. He hasn't, luckily. Vinales does have Italian, the doctor up in the second. You've got the nine places made on that opening lap from Alex Marquez from the very back of the grid. Yeah, saw Paul Espargo. This corner then, Miguel Oliveira did not get a good start. Look, he's been swallowed up on that one into the first corner. Rapid Big impact, wasn't it? Oliveira landing right. Oh, oh dear. And he got hit by him as well, just for good measure. Oh, well, we send our best to uh, Miguel. And he's stuck uh, a devices. It was a clean start for everybody. No jump start. Takanakagami, Bagnaia at the moment, swarming all over his Pramac Ducati teammate Jack Miller's rear tyre. In fact, at the moment, it looks like Bagnaia's got the corner and he's gone wide. Yeah, he's done oh, he's down! And he's up again! What a save by Pekka Bagnaia! Mark what Marquez. a save! Mark and Miller's closing in on the pair of them. They do not want that Ducati in front of them here in Jerez. The Pramac... Yep, he right is. to the home straight here. Oh, and Rossi in a bit wide from Rossi. He's been in a 1.5 second deficit on Quattararo. He's gone. Quattararo, a 38-1-1, went up the inside of Rossi into turn six. No, he's not close enough. Yeah, notoriously always been a demon on the brakes, hasn't he, Valentino? Further back then, it's Miller Bansting for Maverick Vinales as he sees Fabio Quattararo stretching away. Again, Rossi through, not to have Jack Miller sweep through as well. Now here's Davizioso picking his way through. Was that Vinales having another pop at Rossi and it went slightly wrong because he's just lost a bit because he's so superior in terms of his rhythm. Again, that last lap, six tenths quicker than in a complete class of his own. Got to give a show and ball and then manage your pace. This is just a typical Jorge Lorenzo. Yeah, another 38.4 for him. Seven tenths quicker than Rossi. They've got nothing for him. He's going to be three seven. He's got the two Pramac Ducatis ganging up behind him as well. Takanakagami hanging in there as well inside the top cells. Thomas Bargory for qualifying in 12th because his pace is just as good as the guys in the podium fight. And Brad Binder lower than Fabio Quattararo. Oh, it's incredible. So and once uh, again, a tale of what might have been Miller. Miller really He's just there at the top of your picture, trying to hunt down. Oh, Tech three are having a disaster. Third crash of the weekend for Eka looking a bit ugly. Last corner, just tipping off the side. Alex Rins is right, still doing 39s in the condition of the years. And Cal Crutchlow. They're both doing 139. Oh. Everybody really forced the issue. There was nothing that Nakagami could do. He would see Morales here. He's looking good. He's looking good. I mean, fair play. This is no fluke than Vinales. So at this phase of the race, a long, long way to go. We've still got 18 laps. Got Vinales' measure. If, if Rossi finishes on the podium, age 41, in conditions like this, it would be one of his greatest. Yeah. Nothing to do with the mechanic on the podium. Given his speed all weekend, that would be a disaster. That would be a disaster. I don't care if he's top six, top. That mistake at the start of the race, he's gone through on Bradley Smith. That puts him up into 18th place as he hunts down. Concertier up on the brakes into that tight first corner. I remember in 2006, when Tony Elias clobbered. Fabio Quattararo, 3.6 seconds clear of Valentino Rossi, who's now... Jack will be frustrated if Pecco does that. You can just see Jack at the moment. He's just trying to... Oh, here comes, comes Jack. Miller up the inside. Miller. So Miller, in an attempt to go up into a podium position, has now dropped back to fifth. Pushed so hard on that front end to make up the lack of acceleration on that Aprilia. He's so on the limit. He's been bit 
of the game. No further action taken after the reviewing of the incident. That's, that's, it's just a typical it's, cut it's Just behind Jack Miller there. He's got past Nakagami and really closed on these guys. The speed difference. Look at the speed difference there of the Ducati and the Yamaha. Here goes Peko Bagnaia. He's in third. Can he hold on to it? He can. Smartless by Bagnaia. He's just picking up the piece of everybody else. So Peko Bagnaia, he's just keeping cool, keeping his head down, riding smart, not making mistakes, being Rossi, who himself is six tenths clear of his protege, Peko Bagnaia. 50 points coming the way potentially for Fabio Quattararo. Mark Marquez will have zero. Straight we go, 14 laps left of this race. There's Jack Miller, now trying to have a look up the inside of Maverick. He's having a bit of a nightmare here, and now it comes Morbidelli up the inside as well. Maverick Vignal. What said? Oh, someone's Somebody's gone down. Right. That's Miller. Miller. Oh, Jack Miller has gone yeah. down you and out see of the race. flash at the bottom of your screen. Could was that somebody else down as well? I think that's just the onboard that's noise of him. Yeah, and he looks like he's got the better pace, doesn't he, Pekka Bagnaia? He said all throughout the weekend his own <laughs> argument, but... And who would have thought this? As Quattararo leads, Valentino Rossi what we feared, a real race of attrition. Ah, oh, Rossi's wide! Yeah. The guys are hitting massive tyre trouble already here. Fourth out, Danilo Petrucci. And Pekko Bagnaia then in second place. We've got Trap. This is hard work for everyone right now. Petrucci, that's the fifth round. Right boxing clever like he always does. Andrea Di Vizioso ghosting towards the top six. Dobby now in that. We know that Di Vizioso in this race could happen as yet. Pekka Bagnaia is now streaking away from Valentino first podium. Petronas Yamaha, of course, they've had their win. They've never had both men on the podium. Maverick Vignal is looking like Valentino Rossi. He's having problems stressing that rear tyre like he always does. Pretty quickly to Franco Bonde. Look how quickly Bagnaia has dropped him. Mert coming out of uh, struggling there as well. Turn six, he just cannot get the drive at all. It's that age old problem, isn't it, for Rossi at this stage of races? Come on, Delis, getting a good look at the boss here. Thought he might be going for it at turn number nine. What has happened to him? See, Andrea Di Vizioso is really paying the price for a woeful qualifying and struggling to. It's Fabio Quattararo, your race leader. Dovi's got some good rhythm. See who is in a really fast. So both near and Dovi might make some forward movement you know this year what, as well. Rins and Crutchlow. They're doing are still doing. I, I just Absolutely can't. I can't incredible. process their bravery. I mean, it's balmy, really. What they're seconds clear for Fabio Quattararo. It's going to feel like a long race. Oh, God, it gets worse for KTM. Tires are turning to jelly right now. You finish this race. You're in the point to stay for Brad Binder. That's a nasty, nasty high side. Oh, and he, he gets, gets a wallop as, as well. well from that RCC or so, haven't we, at the Harest circuit. You know Thankfully, what? he's on his feet. You, you know, know what? That was a big one. We're on the absolute limit. He's, he's going to quit. He's going to withdraw. It's still a long way to go here, though, Matt. This is still a long way to go. Oh, there's Polis Barker, the only KTM rider left. <laughs> Last man standing for the Austrian boys. Go oh. so early on and made that mistake. Lost out on a lot of places, did Paul. Yeah, I think 15 riders in this race left. 11 laps to go. Make that 10 across the line. Quite a lonely test of his focus and concentration. Last week he said the last 10 laps were the longest of his life. Well, I wonder how these 10 laps. Tried again by this young man, Alex Marquez. Yeah, I agree with that. On the Repsol Honda. Yes, there's been a few crashes, a few falls. The young Marquez. Valentino Rossi, out of the Spanish Grand Prix with a technical oh, problem. What's he doing? Get off the circuit, Franco. Are back. Major, major concern for the Awata factory. Rossi out of the technical last weekend. Franco. Poor old Franco. Um, I'll get down to Yamaha and ask them uh, what they. For the engine has a problem. It does a big shutdown as well. Again, safety, you know. So. Yeah, he's going back out as well. You, you know what? I'm not seeing a race like this in Cal Exeter. There's going to be some serious burning at midnight all in a watch over the next few days. Rossi out with a technical stage with overheating that rear tyre, running out of rear grip here, Rossi. And now, Vinales is trying to strike in two races in a row. Remember, Rossi had that big explosion when he was doing so well in Mugello. Yamaha right now are going through engines like confetti at a wedding. And that will be a concern with the engine allocate out some performance on their engines to make them more reliable or with something that can be rectified pieces like they have done over this last week in these brutal conditions in Jerez. This will be heartbreaking. This race has been so far and there might yet be a few more cool moments for one or two riders as yet.
the guy's core temperature will be off the scale. They'll be gasping for breath, just inhaling red hot air off to turn five. He's not quite close enough. Now he's got to try and just get the drive, get the slipstream. The he's biggest problem he's had. Here he comes now. Is he going to have another go into turn six? Rossi knows he's there. He's defended. Is he got a bit hot into turn six there now? It's that podium for such a long time since he's been on that top three. He's Great got spot, smoke. Steve. Oh, look at this. Pramit Nakadi can't believe it. They cannot believe it. Peko Bagnaia, the smoke blew it. He stayed on yeah, into the last corner. Pavic Vinales has gone through, but he's gone wide again. Valentino Rossi comes through. There's how he can continue like this. And I'm worried for him as well because he clearly does not know. What is going on? Perhaps seen as a problem. Is there a team communication to him? As he looked down the top Ferrara, wasn't it? He was running second in Jerez last year. We're having mechanicals, we're having high sides, front end washouts, we've had everything. Well, this is in second. Maverick Vinal is in third. And Monster Energy Yamaha might be salvaging something remarkable. Nakagami's now. He can ride slowly with it. He's going to go and see if he can get a couple of points. Well, well he's, if he just finishes the race, he'll get to be no denied the chance to fight for your first by the GP podium. Totally out of your control. So what about Davizioso? He's going to salvage a sixth place. Now, Takanakagami has got what? Four as well either. Valentino Rossi at the moment holds strong, holds firm, holds on to for the two uh, men who unfortunately have had mechanicals and oh. gone out of this one. That's just cruel in the extreme. Dude, an absolutely phenomenal race. He did make a mistake. Did not make a single mistake. Here he comes. was cruising in the Rossi. He had excellent drive out of turn five. He's putting everything into this he's throwing the kitchen sink at valentino has been the third best yamaha after all the great race pace he showed all weekend time on his side to try and find out the gp podium that day it was yamaha rossi lorenzo and bradley smith six eight maverick vignette yeah. quattararo he's on his way to a maximum 50 point haul so far i certainly was he was in a safe second just like quattararo was one year ago when of maverick vignales the lcr team just begging Nakagami on. I think he's just going to run out of time and slower than the Yamahas ahead of him. I think Mears has... Sorry, mate. Really, really sorry. You rode awesome. That's what he can... Here comes the slipstream, though. He's this got time, him now, he's got him. He's surely got him. Down into... He's not! Still, the doctor hangs on to <laughs> second place. The doctor, a demon on the brakes into turn six. How many... The advantage in the braking zone. You know Maverick's going to lunge. Maverick wants that actually on board now with Maverick Vinales, number 12, as he looks to find a way through on Rossi. He's going to have enough. Comes now, looking for that inside line. Can he get it? No. Defence again from Valentino Rossi. So Maverick Vinales right now. Valentino Rossi is like one of those wide load trucks, isn't he? He just cannot get through. Horrible of Valentino as it oh, is as brilliant. anything else, because this sort of defence oh, is not easy he's to pull off. To, Rossi's having compared to Rossi. This is silencing the, some of the doubters from last week. Oh, that's Rossi. a lovely get out. And he's really going to try and pounce on Rossi on the braking zone into the Pedrosa corner. Can yeah. he do it this time? Nakagami fourth, Mir fifth, Doffy sixth, Polis Bargaro seventh. As Rossi's wide on X end. Goodness what me, a just story through here. We're going live with After the Flag shortly after this. And we got. He's gone wide and he's lost second place. Maverick finally finds a way through as the front end gives way for Valentino. Left. Or will he just think, you know what, you can have that second place, Vinales. I'm going to be back on the podium. I'm not going to take it in Grand Prix. Here's the battle raging for second. Quattararo is about seven, eight seconds clear. And straight away, he's been able to gap Valentino Rossi. <laughs> Rossi can't relax here because no. Taka Nak Nakagami in sector three and sector four was brilliant. He took 25 gruelling laps in the most holding up Honda on a brilliantly here. He's doing a Marquez all in. He's taken another three tenths out of Rossi already. On control for the whole of this Andalusian Grand Prix. Fabio Quattararo cruising to his second for him. The force is with Fabio. Bragging right to Yamaha, belong to him. He's back. Oh, Valentino look, yeah. Rossi, look at him. 41 years old. And he's back on the podium.